We are seeing women who keep cell phones in their bras. Has anyone seen a woman put a cell phone in her bra? Hands up, please. Please tell them you've heard now why they shouldn't do that. And here I want to show you our first case report from 2009, and we now have many more. This was a Chinese-American woman who used her cell phone four hours a day in her bra for 10 years while she was driving. Now, and you drive with a, with a phone on your body. The phone is smart. It's going to go from one tower to another, and it's going to say, here I am, where are you, here I am. And it's going to be going to max power each time it moves from one cell tower to another. And there it was right next to her chest. And the tumors that developed, developed right under the antenna of the phone. This is a, an MRI of a young woman, a very brave young woman named Tiffany France. When she was 21, she's now 22, she developed metastatic breast cancer. This is metastases into her chest wall right here. And this, this outlined the phone. And it was subcutaneous, so it's like right under the surface of the skin. It was, it was not um, deep within the, the breast. Most breast cancer occurs in women over 50. It occurs in the upper outer quadrant. These tumors occurred right under the antenna of the phone. And now we have 38 of them. Not a single one of them has a family history. None of them has inherited the defects that we know increase the risk of breast cancer. Uh, they have multifocal tumors. That means they have more than one tumor, and the tumors are located under the antenna, sometimes just right in the center of the chest.